Today's video is going to be on the 150 grain 30 caliber Hornady inner bonds shot out of a 308. Go check out submoashooting.com. They sell little sample packs. Might be able to save yourself some money in load development. First shot will be a reduced load simulating long range. Then I'll flip my box and shoot a high velocity load. Well, we can see decent permanent wound cavity came up beard and actually came out here so I'm not going to catch that low velocity load and unfortunately I got a air reading on my chronograph so I'm going to go ahead and shoot another low velocity load Try to hit a little lower in the gel block here. Let's see if we can get that chronograph to read. In that low velocity load not terrible permanent wound cavity came out of the side of the block here but might be too dark today with this cloud cover and light rain we're going to give it one more shot just to see if we can get uh, velocity reading here And although those look like decent permanent wound cavities, our bullets are just tumbling. And this one was loaded two grains hotter than those other ones. And that was 1707. So we are going to go ahead, even though that block's getting pretty shot up. This a little bit different here. Try to shoot into this guy instead. So we can get one of those to open up.
because that other one didn't open, I went ahead and jumped up additional couple grains and I got 2,156 feet per second. So looking at that and the fact it actually mushroomed there, I'm thinking we're going to be good at 2,000 feet per second or faster. I forgot to look up what Hornady rates these down to, but these are bullet definitely going to have to keep them on the higher velocities. Probably not a great long range bullet. get away with a little less velocity but it's taking a fair bit to even get those to start opening. One stop there. Nice mushroom. That was 2701. Definitely not a bad performing bullet, but I would not use them for any kind of lower velocity, like reduced loads for youth or whatnot. I don't think these are a great bullet choice for longer range or reduce loads for hunting. I think you need to keep them moving pretty good. Let me go grab my tape measure and we'll go over these a little bit more. load there opening up by about the three quarter inch mark giving you that really good explosive permanent wound cavity to about the ten and a half inch mark where it tapers down and then you see the pin line to your leading edge at almost exactly 20 inches see where my bolt was resting. I'm not sure which. 
Let's flip that box back around. Helps if I line up my blocks correctly. There we go. So you had that lower velocity one going just over that uh, 2150. Seems to open up at about the two inch mark. Good explosive. Permanent wound cavity from the two and a half inch mark to almost the 11 inch mark. And where it tapers, you pretty much pin lines and you're down at the uh, 22 inch mark. That 